Hello Divination and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change an image on Hover in Divi. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. I'm going to give my page a name and then I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build up a page from scratch. So I'm going to select build from scratch and then I'm going to choose to build on the front end. So I'm going to select this button here. So this now is going to take us to the visual editor. Okay, so I'm just going to select build from scratch again. Right, so the column structure that I need to choose here is this one here, these two equal halves. So I'm going to select that. Next, we're going to add a column one background image. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to come over here to my row settings. So right now it's snapped to the right. So I can actually move this around, maybe bring it over here to the left if I need to, but you know, it's up to you where you want this to be snapped. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here on the left. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to uh, add my background. So I'm gonna come over here to background and then add column one background image. So I'm gonna click here on this third tab, click this plus button, and then I'm gonna add my image, upload an image next. On my image settings, we have column one background image here set to repeat. Make sure that this is set to no repeat. So I'm gonna select here, no repeat, and then we're gonna save. Next, we're gonna come over here and add an image module. So I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my image module, and then select it. So we need to add an image here as well. So I'm gonna click here in this area, upload my image. So what you could do here is actually to uh, make sure that you choose images that are different because on the hover effect, it can show two different images. So what you could do here is we could either use this one here, or in fact, let's go with this one. So I'm going to select that, click upload an image. So we're going to save for now. And then over here on the second column, we're going to click this plus button and add a text module. So this text module here is going to have our name. So I'm just going to give this lady a name. So let's call her Mary Smith. We're going to give this a heading. So I'm going to highlight all this text and set my heading to heading three. Now we're going to go into our settings. So I'm going to click here on design and then I'm going to select my heading by just clicking on this paintbrush tool. So this is going to take me directly to my heading three settings. So we're going to start off by adding a font. So I'm going to come over here and change my default fonts to a font called Baloo. So I'm just going to search for it. And it's called Baloo Tama. So this one is the one we need. I'm going to select it. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is to add our heading three color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. So moving on, we need to add our heading three text size. So I'm going to start off with 100 here on our text size. And then we might as well set our settings for our tablet and phone. So I'm just going to mouse over this area here, click, click on this uh, mobile icon, click on tablet, and we're going to set our tablet size to 70. And then I'm going to click on the phone tablet and set I mean, on the phone and set it to 50. Now let's add some shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here and uh, choose my shadow type. So I'm going to go with this one here. So I'm going to select it. So next we need to add our shadow horizontal length. So over here, I'm just going to add my value and it's going to be 0.04 EM. And then for the vertical, I'm going to do the same. And then I'm going to finally add my shadow color. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on this eyedropper tool for the shadow. And then I'm just going to paste my value between these brackets. And notice that this value here is an RGBA value. So you just need to make sure that the slider is down a little bit so that you are able to add this value between the brackets. And by the way, these colors that I'm using throughout this tutorial, they can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Right. So moving on, the next thing we're going to do now is to add some spacing. So we're going to add a top margin. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add a top margin of 100. So I'm just going to switch back over here to my desktop view. So I'm just going to click this little icon 
and back over here to the desktop. All right, so I've got 100 as my top margin, and then I might as well add my margins for my tablet. So I'm going to click here, click on the tablet, and for the tablet, we're going to set it to 50, and it's going to be the same as well for the phone. So we're just going to set this to 50 as well. Okay, so now back onto our desktop view. Now let's add a divider. So I'm going to go ahead now and save, and then I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and search for my divider module. I'm going to select it. So make sure show divider is set to yes. And then we need to add a divider color. So I'm going to come over here to our design tab, color. And then I'm just going to click this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Just like that. So what I want to do next is to add a style to our divider. So I'm going to click here on styles. And I'm just going to choose my divider style and set this to dotted. Next, we're going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set our weight to three pixels like that. So now the dots are more prominent. Right. So finally, what we're going to do is to add some text just below this divider. So I'm going to save this and then I'm again, I'm going to click this plus button, add a text module. So I'm just going to search for it and select it. Right. So for my text here, I'm just going to paste my dummy text. And then we're going to come over here to design text and we're going to set our sizes. So our text size here is going to be 16. And by the way, you can also come here to your text font and change the font to whatever font you prefer to use for your design project. Right. So next we need to add a line height of 2.3. So I'm just going to scroll down here and then just add this to 2.3. But again, you can just adjust this until you're happy with your line height. So for the text orientation, we're going to justify this. So I'm going to scroll down here and then justify it and then save. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clone this section twice. So I'm just going to come over here on the top and then just do this twice. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that these are my duplicates. Right, so let's start by creating all our effects. So we're going to start here with this image. So I'm going to click here on this um, module settings icon. And then we're going to click on design. So what we need to do here is to set our hover transition. So we're going to go to filters. So making sure your opacity is set to, a, to 100. Now let's add our hover effect. So I'm going to click here on this icon here, uh, this arrow. So this now allows us to add our hover state. So I'm going to click here on the hover tab. And this time we need to drag this all the way down to zero. So notice what happened there. So if I click here, you can see these images are now swapping, which is really cool. So what we're going to do next is to adjust our animation speed. So I'm going to come over here to advanced transitions, and then I'm going to set this to 1200 and then save. Right, so let's go over here to our second example. So I'm going to click here on my settings, my module settings, click on design. So what we need to do first of all is to make sure that we don't have any padding here. So th that's the case here that we have no padding. So what we're going to do next is to add a bottom padding, padding of 100. But we're going to add the 100 bottom padding on the hover state. So I'm going to click here on this arrow. Click on the uh, hover tab and we're going to add 100 to the bottom, just like that. Next, we're going to come over here to our box shadow. And the style we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. And now let's add our values to bring the style. So what I'm going to do here is to start by adding our horizontal position. So our horizontal position here by default is set to zero. We're going to set this to minus 55. For the vertical, we're going to set this to minus 50. And then over here for the spread strength, we're going to set this to minus 10. And then finally, we're going to add our color. So I'm going to click here on this box shadow. And then I'm going to drag the slider all the way up and paste my hexadecimal value for my color. So notice that this color here is the same as the color that we have here on the name. Next, we're going to go to the filters. So I'm going to select my filters. And as we did before, we're going to click here and choose our hover state. 
and making sure that you're on the right tab. So on the default tab, you just have to make sure that this is set to 100. And then on the hover tab, this needs to be set down to zero, just like that. And then just, uh, just as we did before, we're going to come over here to advanced transitions and set this to 1200 and then save. Now let's work on our final design. So this time we're going to do something different. So I'm going to come over here and click on my row settings, click on background. So what we need to do is to add our background column to column one. So I'm going to click here on this second tab to add our gradient, click this plus button, and then I'm going to add my first color here in this first color option. So this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit and then paste my value between the brackets, just like that. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so let's come over here and uh, add our second color. So I'm going to click here on select color. And this time, this is going to be white. Next, we're going to choose our gradient type and we're going to set this to radial. And then we're going to set our start and end position to zero to 60. Now let's apply additional settings to our image module. So let's save this and then let's go to our image module. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, design. And as we did before, we're going to come to the filters here, making sure the opacity is set to hundred. Click here on this uh, hover icon and then the hover tab and set this to zero. So pretty much our design is done. So let's go ahead and save. Right. So let's do now example four. So for our example four, what I'm going to do is to start by creating a new row. So I'm going to click this plus button and the structure that we're going to go with is this one here. So six columns. And then we're going to save this for now. And then over here, we're going to go into our row settings, click on design. In fact, we need to add a background image to column one. So I'm going to click here on background and then click this third tab to add our image and then click this plus button. So we're going to add our image, click upload. Now over here, we need to make sure that it's, it's set to no repeat. So I'm going to click here and just scroll all the way down to no repeat and then save. So what you need to do is to do the exact same steps and add an image to each and every column as I did with this first one here. Okay, so now with all our images in the backgrounds, the next stage now is to make this row full width. So I'm going to click here on design, sizing, and then I'm going to set this to full width. Next, we're going to come over here to our gutter width. Now, notice what happens right now. It's set to three. So by reducing our gutter width, it's going to reduce the space between the columns. So watch what happens when I set this to one. Right. So what we need to do now is to save and add an image to column one. So I'm going to click this plus button to add our image module. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to choose my image. So this is the image that we're going to add, which is going to act as the transition. So I'm going to select this one here. Upload an image. And then I'm going to come over here to design filters. So making sure the default stage here is a hundred, click on this hover icon and then click on hover. So all you have to do now is to drag the slider all the way to zero. So when the hover happens, this will flip between the two images. So let's come over here to our transition duration. And then I'm going to click on transitions. And for the duration, I'm going to set this to 800. And then we're going to save. Now, to make things easier for us, all I have to do is to clone this image module here onto these other columns and then add our images that we need to do. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, use my shortcut. And my shortcut is going to be Command C if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy. To paste, it's Command V or Control V. Right, so I'm just going to hit Command C here because I'm on a Mac and then I'm going to paste by hitting Command V. Okay, you see how fast that is? So all I have to do now is to go to each and, each and one of these uh, image modules and then change my image.
Right, so all you have to do is to add your images, just go in there, swap them, but make sure the images that you're adding here are the same si same height as the one that you've used in the column background. So now let's take a look at our final design. So we're gonna start off with the first one here. So if I hover, you can see we have a beautiful transition here. And then moving on to the next one. Again, this is a beautiful transition. And then moving on to the next one. And this one here is a perfect circle on hover. And then finally on the bottom here, we also have these images that have excellent transitions. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.